Hey guys, it's Scott here from Zone My God Play, and today we're doing a quick gameplay overview for Flockers, which is a brand new game from Team 17. Now, Flockers is currently available on Steam as an early access title, so new content will be released regularly for the game. So, at the bottom of the screen, you've got your main command options play, community, leaderboards, rewards, and options and clicking on any of them will take you to a different aspect of the game. But to start off with, I'll click on the Options tab, which brings up the game's basic rules on how to play, such as using the mouse to navigate around and the option of showing you how many sheep you need to save, as well as the different options on what you can do with the sheep, such as using the super sheep icon to make them climb walls, or the jump icon to make them jump over a gap. Now the interesting feature that I found with Flockers is that you can stream directly to Twitch. So basically if you click on the Twitch icon in the options menu and type in your username and password, you can stream directly to your Twitch channel. And finally the other modes are the community option whereby you can uh, download community created content such as own levels and designs. Uh, leaderboards whereby each completed level gets the scores uploaded and then rewards which basically acts as in-game achievements and while there is a few in-game achievements more will be added at a later date. So now that we've got the main menu out of the way we'll take a look at the gameplay itself which is what I'm doing right here on the screen. So as you may already be aware Flockers is where you've got to uh, navigate the sheep to safety or your herd of sheep um, across various different terrains and this is done by uh, letting your sheep pick up objects that are scattered around the um, map or item boxes should I say and then by using the commands at the bottom of the screen you can then tell your sheep what to do for example if I place this box here and tell my sheep to stop the other sheep will start climbing on top of him so they can reach the next destination now if you're finding that the gameplay is moving a bit too fast you can pause the game so you can look ahead and plan your next move. It's quite a useful feature this, as if you don't look ahead and plan your next move, you might find yourself uh, losing a couple of sheep. And while losing sheep doesn't affect your completion of the level, it will affect your overall score at the end. Because the aim of the game is not to really get all of the sheep across, but it's only to get one across. But if you want to get more points and unlock uh, additional content, such as in-game achievements, then the aim is to try and get three stars on each level which is most likely achieved by completing the game in the fastest time using fewest um, item pieces and having all of the sheep reach its destination like i mentioned before your sheep can't do anything unless you tell them what to do and you won't be able to do anything with the sheep unless they collect the item boxes so now that the sheep have collected the jump item, I can equip it to all the sheep and here they'll jump over the actual uh, gaps. But obviously not all gaps can be jumped, so at this point in time my sheep have uh, obtained the super sheep type item, which is basically a cape. And this allows them to scale buildings like uh, superheroes would. So once you've got new abilities, you then select them on the bottom tab or the bottom menu at the bottom of the screen and then you click on the sheep of what you want to do however sending all the sheep at once to its destination can sometimes be a bad thing as like what I'm doing here I'm setting one of my sheep to explode so that I can get to the next area but in the process I took out several of my sheep so obviously I'm not going to get a decent score on this particular level As you may have noticed, when your sheep go over certain parts of the map, which I would like to call checkpoints, um, it interacts with various options or objects around the map. In this instance, it dropped a giant blade onto the remaining sheep that I had. So you've got to really plan ahead in this game, and not charging full frontal ahead is not the best option. And since I only managed to save two of the sheep, I'm going to try again. Uh, hopefully I'll do better this time. So this time I'll just let the gameplay play itself and I'll leave the narration to a minimum.
So as you can see, because I was more cautious and planned ahead on this playthrough with the first level, I was able to save more sheep. In the first run, I saved two sheep, but this time I saved ten. So it's not a massive improvement, but it's better than nothing. So that was a general gameplay overview of Flockers, and if you're used to Lemmings, then I presume you'll love this, as it's quite a similar gameplay. But in the meantime, Flockers is now available on Steam.